and that way takes you to towards Alberta, British Columbia, and that way takes you towards Manitoba and Eastern Canada. Wouldn't it be cool to be able to go back in time to when this thing was in its heyday? free world and good morning to all of you in the not free world who are sneaking onto the internet now to watch my vlogs glad you're here too so a new flying J has opened its doors here in Saskatchewan this isn't a paid ad or anything don't worry I'm just mentioning this uh, you know where that SO is or the, the the Tim Hortons was that we found last time and uh, the AW is there Right across the road now, there's a Pilot Flying J card lock yeah. at this place. Right across the road. The card lock's on the other side of the building over there. But, uh, yeah, Flying J is here now. Interesting, eh? And have you guys heard about this merger between Esso and Husky here in Canada? They're both two big fuel chains. A Husky's got a, it's a nationwide uh, travel plaza chain, just like, you know, Pilot Flying J or TA in the States. Uh, it's Husky up here in Canada. I believe they were bought out by Esso, which is another fuel company, but I didn't think it was as big. Or was it the other way around that Husky bought Esso? Either way, they're merging now, eh? They're in the process of merging, which is interesting because now your Esso cards work at Huskies. So strange. This world just keeps changing and keeps changing and I just try to keep everything, just slow down. Stop changing everything. You just get used to something and everything changes again, right? But uh, such is life. It's bright out here. Why did I take my shades off? Everything about this this life keeps changing. I guess that's part of the human experience. It's just forever changing. And you know, there's those of us that just try to slow it down just a little bit to enjoy where we're at. And then before you know it, the world's moved on to the next thing. But anyways, I don't know what that had to do with anything. Just beginning our day, we unloaded in Saskatoon this morning. I'm on my way down to uh, southwest Manitoba right now to pick up a load of ag products again. That's going to be taking me uh, probably, I'm guessing, down to Iowa again. Minnesota maybe, some other state around that area. We'll find out a little later. Thanks for being here. what that refinery here in Regina looks like during the day. It's not quite as nice looking. It doesn't look quite as much like a Christmas tree during the day, eh? Today in Broadview, Saskatchewan. I've actually never stopped in this town before. Figured it was a good day to explore it. We're just coming up to the old train station. I'm sure this was the only way of getting to town back in the day, or getting anywhere else for that matter. So I guess this is where you would come out this door here and board the train right back there. Isn't that cool? And that way takes you to towards Alberta, British Columbia, and that way takes you towards Manitoba and Eastern Canada. Wouldn't it be cool to be able to go back in time to when this thing was in its heyday? I think that'd be pretty cool.
just like in small town America, in small town Canada, you'll find many, many flags. Another bunch over there, I'm not sure if you can see them from here. That house was covered in them in the front. Another flag pull over there behind that house. Almost every house has a flag on it. Got another one here. Another one over there. Not sure exactly how I'm supposed to call again, but I think I'll come visit again. That was a nice visit, hey Diesel? Nice little town. So I should be in the US tonight yet, I think. We'll find out more once I switch the trailers, see how long that takes me. I have four and three quarter hours available to me to drive uh, once I'm on American hours of service. Beautiful evening. <laughs> Look at that sunset over there. Oh, this camera does not do it justice. Now that's a prairie sunset. Alrighty. This trailer's been with me for a little while now. I'm gonna miss it. Maybe the next one will be even better. I'm not too sure which trailer I'm picking up. I gotta go to the other side of the yard and grab my paperwork and that'll, that'll tell me. the other side of the yard and grab our new trailer and then we'll be off to the USA kilometers about 13 hours of straight highway driving so I'm good with 15 hours to, to get there I can only drive 11 tomorrow that means I gotta get at least three behind me today and what does it say there I have four hours and 15 minutes available to me on my hours of service once I hit the states it's gonna be about the same there's my route down into North Dakota here down the I-29 I-94 into Wisconsin <laughs> You guys a little bit more of an idea of what we're talking about here there you go and that's my route I should get there tomorrow night no problem all right and off we go sitting at just under 78,000 pounds gross and we're headed to the nearest commercial 24-hour border crossing with the United States it's gonna be a good day now this is something new for me. I've never actually crossed the border at this port of entry before. I don't even know what the Canadian side is, but the American side is Dunsdeath or Dunseith, North Dakota, something like that. I'm always a little nervous when I cross at a new port of entry because there's so few that I haven't gone through, right? And each one's a little different. So I gotta watch the signs here very carefully. There's a guy walking down the road here. What are you doing? This is Peace Garden. Okay. So Peace Garden Crossing. 
It's from southwest Manitoba into uh, about north central North Dakota here. So this would be the Canadian side on the left here. Probably going to need to be in the right lane because that's usually how it is for trucks at most border crossings. Okay, it's a pretty small crossing. There it is ahead of us there. That is the United States of America. Okay. Okay. Oh, uh, International Peace Garden. Cool. All right, I'm going to put you guys away. I will see you on the other side. My camera doesn't know what to focus on anyways. So this is the border town on the American side. It just feels different right away, you know? Maybe it's just my imagination. It just feels different. One thing that's different for sure, I'll show you. That. Do you see that? Now correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that's an air raid siren. You see that? That you won't find in Canada. <laughs> an air raid siren. Don't quote me on that 100%, I'm just sort of assuming and guessing, because that's what it looks like. But let's just say it is, for argument's sake right now. I do know that America stockpiles some of their nuclear weapons in North Dakota here, close to the Canadian border. I wonder if that's why they have that, if that's what it is. Because this would be a target during a war. Makes you think. Things that make you go, hmm, interesting, right? All right, Diesel, you ready to go? We have another two hours and 51 minutes available to us to drive. You can see my laundry hanging up around there. I washed my clothes and the dryer didn't dry it properly. So it's, yeah, that's better. That's better. Let's see how far we can get tonight yet. I'll talk to you at the end of my day. my day and I'm having some problems with my air conditioning in my truck and it's hot out here even though we're in North Dakota it's hot the problem is I can get ice cold air in my sleeper but up front is blowing hot as hell excuse the reference but I'm not exaggerating so the front of the truck is just boiling hot the back of the truck is just ice cold what am I going to do? Like sleep like right in the middle? I don't know. Got to get this figured out tonight yet. Yeah, I'll let you know how it goes tomorrow, I guess. Thanks for joining me today. We're here at a small town in northern North Dakota, just south of the Manitoba border. Got a lot of mosquitoes here. Feels just like home. I'll see you tomorrow. If you like the video, please hit that like button on the YouTube page. It does more for me than you think. If you're new to the vlog, welcome. Monday to Friday, our regular vlogs. I check in with you on Saturday and Sunday. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a video. I'll see you tomorrow.